Hi guys, uh, you're probably all wondering why I haven't gotten the other Doomsayer video uploaded yet. Well, I've been uh, sort of busy over Thanksgiving, so happy. Also, uh, if you hear me talking kind of weird, because I got braces, so that sucks. You know what? Shit happens. Whatever. I've had upper and lower palate expander, so uh, I'll deal with it. Anyway, uh, while you're waiting for the Doomsayer vid, my friend Mike came over and uh, pretty much left his pump action shotgun at my house and said, like, yo, go mod this like Angel did. So, no, screw that. I'm not going to do that. But uh, I did mod it in a different way. And yes, he wanted it painted like Rambo's. <laughs> Big surprise here. But uh, the way I did it is I just, the, the stock barrel, I took that off. I didn't even bother to cut it. I just threw it away. And the coupler accepted really, really well on the brown piece just below that. Didn't have to use much glue at all. Now it's really straight and stuff. But uh, I used a unisex coupler system. So it'll accept any kind of barrel. This is uh, just... CPVC with a uh, PVC ring at the end, but the CPVC will accept in the PVC coupler and work fine. Why it has this ring at the end is before I had the unisex coupler to hold this in and not have any dead space. And uh, a little later, well, no, hold on, I'll go get a uh, PVC barrel. So anyway, uh, we'll accept PVC as well, obviously because of the PVC coupler. And this happens to me by a uh, brass breaching barrel. So it's pretty sick. So depending on what barrel you use, you can fit any PVC with nestled barrel material, or you can rip that off and thrust in a CPVC barrel, and it's gonna work well either way. But the CPVC barrel has uh, no dead space which is uh, why it's got the extension here, because it moves all the way back and physically touches the plunger, just briefly, but it does. And as you see, it won't fly off. So uh, it used to, but I sanded it down and that's fixed now. So anyway, uh, boosted the ranges to Nearly a hundred feet. It's not quite getting that yet. Maybe if I made a better dart it would Haven't really had the time at the moment. I'm just using darts that I find in my lawn, which is usually what I do for shooting tests So uh, I am impressed with it, but unfortunately it's not mine. It's still Mike's so Can't keep it wish I could but I can't so I'm going to try to order one. He ordered this online uh, from Brass Pro Shop or something. I, I don't know. But uh, I want to get one. These are fun guys. And they're really easy to use too. They're really accurate. So, uh, see ya. Alright, so if you're wondering what I mean by unisex barrel, uh, like how I actually did that, just give me a sec. I'm on like the last screw. No. Nope, missed one. Come on. Alright, so the plunger of the gun is, uh, here's the priming bar. Useless for this. So this is the brown piece I was talking about. Take the coupler off, and then, uh, actually the coupler wasn't supposed to come off there but uh that actually works so now i can show you guys um because i never reinforced it that's why it came off the uh this is the brown piece and then what i did at the end was uh that's a sawed off cpvc coupler so it accepts cpvc really well obviously holds it there holds it straight and then uh the pvc coupler goes here. So just glue that on and uh, I have to go do that.
because I only glued it at the edge ring here when really what I should have done was gluing the whole piece there so then uh, glue that slip it back in and you're good to go so see ya